From the living room to the bedroom, to the kitchen and the bathroom, our dogs follow us. We examine the reasons why your Maltese always wants to tag along. That's why today's episode, we will share 10 reasons why your Maltese follows you everywhere. Number 1. Your Maltese loves you. If your Maltese follows you everywhere, then it's most likely a sign that they love and adore you. When dogs interact with someone they like, the hormone oxytocin is released. Oxytocin is often referred to as the love hormone and makes you feel that warm glow when you're around someone you like. Dogs are incredibly social animals and love to spend time with their owners. You are your dog's whole world and being with you is a big part of their life. You make them feel happy, secure, and safe, and they enjoy spending time with their best friend. Number 2. They're trying to tell you something. If your Maltese is barking, whining, or pacing back and forth, try following them and see where they take you. It's possible they may need more water, want more food, or need to go outside to go to the bathroom. If your dog suddenly starts following you and is more clingy than usual, it could mean that they're feeling unwell and may need some extra reassurance and love. If you're concerned about their health, then you should consult your vet. Number three, they're waiting for you. Dogs are great at learning their daily routines. If it's nearly time to go for a walk or be fed, your dog probably knows it and may follow you around the house hurrying you along. Maltese are also very good at reading our body language and picking up on clues about what we're thinking of doing next. If you're planning on doing something they think is exciting, then they'll follow you around hoping you'll do it soon. Number 4. They're bored. Your Maltese might follow you around because they're looking for something to do. It may be a lot more interesting to see what you are up to, especially if there's a possibility of a stroke or a treat. Ask yourself if you think your Maltese dog is getting enough mental and physical stimulation. And if not, then you may need to find other ways to make life more interesting for them, such as longer or more regular walks, giving them chew toys or food puzzles to play with. Number 5. They're afraid. Your Maltese sees you as their guardian and protector, helping to keep them safe and secure. Certain noises, such as thunderstorms and fireworks, are terrifying to some dogs, and they may follow you around to seek reassurance from you. If your Maltese is scared, then they may pin back their ears, their eyes may go wide, and they may be panting more than usual. If they are scared, they may just want to be close to you and may not want to eat, drink, or play. There are a number of ways you can help your dog feel comfortable and safe during fireworks and thunderstorms. Number 6. They get rewards when they follow you. When your Maltese follows you around, how do you react? Do you tend to ignore them, or do you give them a pat, a cuddle, or maybe even a nibble of food? It's possible that your Maltese has learned that if they follow you around, then they get good things. Giving them reassurance, attention and treats every time they follow you encourages them to keep doing it. Number 7. They want to know what's going on. Maltese are naturally inquisitive and love to know what's going on. They follow you around because, to them, you're the person in the know and the gateway to all things exciting. Your Maltese nosy nature combined with a serious case of fear of missing out, means that they're often under your feet and sticking their nose into everything literally. Number 8. They want attention. Maltese dogs will often follow their humans around because they receive attention or some other form of reward in return for this behavior. If following their pet parent around leads to treats, playtime, or pets, dogs will remember and perform the behavior more frequently. Most people will find this behavior endearing. However, if shadowing behavior becomes excessive, it may become annoying and can be dangerous to you or your dog if the behavior causes you to trip. Number 9. Separation Anxiety Separation anxiety is a very common behavioral disorder, with one study finding a prevalence of 17% in a large population of dogs. Maltese with separation anxiety tend to follow their pet parents excessively and feel frantic, or they panic when left alone. When pet parents make a big deal about arriving home and leaving the house, 
This can worsen anxiety behaviors. Number 10, it's a natural behavior. Following you everywhere is a part of your dog's natural social behavior to watch and follow what you are doing to help maintain a good relationship with you. This is called allelomimetic behavior and serves a number of purposes. It is a way of creating and sustaining social bonds. It is a self-preservation behavior. Being with someone you trust is a good place to be and copying their behavior is part of learning too.